Majesty, the Honourable Member for Cape Breton Council is rising on a point of order. Yes, uh, Mr. Speaker, on a point of order, uh, Mr. Speaker, during the course of uh, question period, um, while I sat here quietly waiting for a uh, response he did. to a, 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 an answer to a question that I posed to the uh, uh, Minister of Labour, which I, I, you know, quite obviously I didn't get the answer, uh, but Mr. Speaker, uh, she had made reference to being heckled uh, from this corner of the, of the chamber, and in particular from this member. And uh, I assure you, and you have access to uh, uh, the, the, the transcript and the answer, that there was no such noise came out of this corner or this member, and I think the minister would want to stand and uh, correct the... But the, the other aspect of it, Mr. Speaker, if I might, uh, she did reference the fact that the constituents of uh, Cape Breton uh, expected a great deal from their uh, members, and I would agree with her, and that's why there are two Liberals back in the chamber. <laughs> Excellent. I don't know that's a, it's not a point of order. Uh, I see the Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Government House Leader is rising. Well, on a related point of order, Mr. Speaker, I'm glad my, uh, my colleague from Cape Breton Council stood and made reference to his question, because in his question to the Minister of Labour earlier today, uh, the preamble seemed to suggest that the minister was guilty of criminal conduct. Now, I know the member from Cape Breton Council. I know him to be a person of good character, and I'm sure he would want to do the right thing, the parliamentary thing, stand up, withdraw his remarks unreservedly, and apologize to the minister. Failing that, Mr. Speaker, I would ask that you review the comments made earlier in his preamble and uh, judge accordingly and rule accordingly. Uh, the Honourable Member for Sandwich Gulf Islands is a point of order as well. Mr. Speaker, I, I agree with you. This is not a proper point of order. But I am a very I have something in common with the Minister of Labour and the member for Can for Cape Breton Canso. We all share Cape Breton roots. And as neither of them are members of my party, and as both of them are people I hold in high regard, I'd just like the Minister for Labour to know that the Honourable Member for Cape Breton Council, unless this jokester has learned how to, to project his voice as a ventriloquist, was as quiet as the grave as he awaited for the Minister's answer. Yay! Appreciate the interventions from the Cape Breton Caucus, but I think we'll move on to uh, routine proceedings.